Hello friends and welcome back to another episode of Tra Traveler's Rest. Jeez. Uh, today we are playing uh, in our little tavern called Come On In, huh? Get it in? Fantastic. Um, so yeah, when we left off yesterday, we started smelting some iron bars and now we need to turn them into some nails. So obviously, let's add some fuel. Uh, obviously, we don't have to open up the inn every single day. It's like our main source of income, especially early game or pretty much all game. Uh, <laughs> so if we want to earn money, of course, we want to open that up. But there's no rush. We can skip days on whether we want to actually open it up or not, or just depending on what our priority is. So I do want to go through and start building up our stockpiles of resources. Stone, copper, iron, and coal refill every single day. Um, so they're kind of like our infinite sources, but if we can have a giant stockpile right from the get-go, that is obviously best. Um, the only resource that takes a while to come back is going to be our trees and our wood. We start off with like a pretty significant forest, uh, but after that it gets a little bit rough sometimes. So my advice to any new players is don't burn wood. Uh, forestry waste, sure but really you wanna be burning coal and using that as your fuel for um, any of your resources or your kitchen or your fireplace or anything like that. While we were mining, our uh, nails are finished. So that got us a workbench, which is amazing. Let's go ahead and use our workbench up here. And from here, we can kind of like look at various things we can build. So they want us to build a small table as our quest, but we don't have any of those dowels. So let's head over to our carpentry workstation, click on our table saw, um, and that's going to make 10, which is more than enough for what we need for our quest. If you ever forget what your quest is, just hit H on your keyboard and it'll pull it up. So yeah, it wants us to craft a small work bench and we'll get four paper coasters. Now that those dowels are done, let's see. Oh, we still need some more planks as well. So I went ahead and started crafting the small table. We just have to wait for that bar to fill up and then it will start going. Um, in the meantime, let's go ahead and open up our tavern. All right, so we have our first upset patron. So you can walk up to them, press E to calm them down, and they are not wanting to leave, so we just have to smack them. Smack them with our broom, and they will head on out uh, and leave us alone and give us some peace and not rile up the other uh, customers. Let's head outside really quick and check on our table. It is finished, so let's hit collect. Uh, and so we got those coasters. Awesome. And then we also got some um, skill points. So let's see here. So they want to un us to unlock the crafting room and make one small bench. So let's head over to our work table, see what a small bench requires. Uh, we'll need 20 planks and 10 nails. So we have five nails, so we just need to craft a few more. So let's go ahead and start the iron for that and start the planks. And then we heard the dangerous sound that says that our uh, restaurant, our uh, inn here is very, very dirty. So let's go ahead and clean that up. Let's go to our anvil. Everything's red out right now. And it's like, I thought we just made, uh, I thought we just made iron. Why, why is it redded out? It's because it needs more fuel. So you hit the fuel button down there at the bottom. Let's add a couple more and then we'll craft our nails. We only needed one set of five nails, so that should be good to go. Can go ahead and collect our planks. It's still working on its last one. Now that that is finished, we'll go ahead and collect our, our iron nails and our wooden plank. So that way we can make that small bench. And we just heard the sound. It sounds like there's a rowdy customer in there. Um, which is ironic because nobody is drinking any alcohol. So let's be sure to smack him with the broom and 
and uh, get them out of here. You really only need to hit them one time, but like, what's the fun in that? Of course we want to smack them around a couple times. So we finished crafting that small bench. I had to hurry in here because we had a rowdy customer who actually just didn't need to get smacked. We just talked to him and he actually calmed down. So um, a couple things. First, we have these coasters, which we can put on our table and they will make it so they, um, are dirty, our tables get dirty less often. So we can just set those there. We also got a candelabra, but that's too big of us to, like, too big of an item to put in while the, um, taverns open. So let's go ahead and open up our crafting room. So we'll need 40 silver. We have one gold, seven silver, and 17 bronze. So we have plenty to open that up. Um, so which unlocked barley and more buckets of water for us, which is fantastic. And this is where we'll be able to make some porridge. So let's grab some fuel and make some porridge with uh, the barley. So this is going to unlock a whole bunch of cool stuff for us. Uh, this is going to be the cooking element. So the higher quality items and the more diverse flavor profiles you have in a dish, the higher that dish is going to uh, be worth. Right now we're starting off with barley, which is a pretty cheap resource, but it's still going to give us more money per turn, like the porridge, than the gruel and water, which is what we are serving currently. So that's, yeah, pretty terrible. But we can head up here, it is finished. Let's go ahead, collect that. Uh, we got a uh, malt, a malt machine, which is gonna unlock uh, the ability to malt things. What, what things could we possibly want to malt, you might ask yourself. Um, Maybe some, some things we can put in these uh, tappers here. Anyways, let's go ahead and place this. Oh, we must be closed, okay. Let's go ahead and serve that up and let's hit last call. So yeah, that porridge just costs one barley, which is, like I said, one of the cheaper resources. And we're already getting one additional silver um, extra per meal than the gruel was worth. So the gruel was worth like 83 bronze and then the porridge with just the barley in it is like one silver, 83 bronze. So pretty decent return on investment there, in my opinion. So we have this candelabra. Uh, let's just set it right there for now because uh, we could put candles in it, but that's just uh, wastes candles because candles are kind of, um, uh, candles run out, if that makes sense. So let's go ahead and open this up. So we'll need some um, barley and add some fuel in here, of course. So to make a malted barley, we'll need barley with a bucket of water. Let's go ahead and do that. Meanwhile, um, let's do some more porridge. So each one barley makes 20 porridge, huge. So let's go ahead and collect that. It's gonna give us some experience points. Let's be sure to turn that in. And then they stack uh, up to 99, I believe, um, as long as they are the exact same item. Next, while we're waiting for our barley to malt, we're going to head over to the mailbox, which is how we access the store in this game, which is really neat. Um, we are going to purchase a calendar. It has a search bar up top, which is really cool and really unique, especially for like an early access game. Um, we don't have enough money for that right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and open back up our store so that way we can get that extra few we need. Uh, we have the temperature warning, meaning it's pretty cold in here. So let's be sure to light the fire and serve our porridge. And just like that, we have enough. <laughs> uh, we have enough money to buy that wall calendar. So we'll just type a calendar into the search bar. We'll hit buy. And that unlocked stone crafting for us. This little treasure chest here is where we get our deliveries and it also shows all of our resources that we have. We have an angry customer, so let's go ahead and calm them down. All right, now that it is about one, it's like, 
12.15 or something like that. Um, I get, went ahead and hit last call. I have an extra water on my tray, so uh, if you just walk outside with it, it goes away on its own. So, you know, not, not too terrible. Uh, next thing we have to figure out where we want to place our stone workshop. I think we'll place it here. And now that this is clear, Oh no, I have to chop down one more. One more tree and then it'll be clear. There we go, we can go ahead and open and this will unlock polished stones and stone blocks and what's not. We have about an hour in game before we pass out. So uh, I think I'll go ahead and start my outro. Thank you everybody for joining me on this Let's Play series. Ooh, our, bar our barley is done. Amazing. We'll go ahead and start that quest tomorrow. Uh, I'm having a blast playing this game and I hope you are enjoying it as well. As always, check out the description. It has a link to all my social media, including my TikTok and my sticker shop. Otherwise, I'd love for, to hear from you guys down in the comments below. And until I see you guys again, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye. <laughs>